So in last week's video, in our talking from our aft, we talked about the survey and we talked about the different things that they notate A things and B things and C things. Well, since we have some time between uh, the last buyers walking away and hopefully whenever our next buyer shows up, uh, I'm just going to address a couple of the B items. Uh, like our tachometer wasn't working on the port engine, which I've gone back and forth with that, and it's literally just a connection on the engine. So it's a little wiring issue. A wire that long? Yeah, people are scared of it, so we're just going to go ahead and clean up the connections, replace the wire with a new wire, and I'm guessing it'll be fine. Um, what else was there? Do you remember? Engine mounts. Oh, there's an engine mount that just needs to be tightened. Uh, there's a hose up under the steering that just needs to be snugged up. It's slight weepage. Little stuff like that. Nothing big, but when you add, when you look at them, people can get concerned. Yeah. So I'll probably spend a couple hours and knock out 75% of the things on that list. And it's just, just little stuff that some of it I didn't even know about. So here we go. So you may have to come around here to film this a little better. Uh, Carter, will you hand me my DeWalt up there? Mm -hmm. The flashing light? Yep. The speedometer on these engines is run off of this right here. And so you get corrosion on these Ford Lehmans. They were notorious for having like just kind of cheaply built wiring harnesses. They're very simple. There's just a few wires. But on this side, this engine, this is my starboard engine, everything works fine on it. And it actually runs off my alternator here. But on the uh, star, on the port engine, this wire connects into something else on that side and, and it just gets corroded. And so I'm going to take that wire off over there, clean it up, and I'll probably replace it because it's a little, what, 16 gauge wire, 14 gauge wire, and it's about that long. We'll just clean the connection points, make up a new wire, put it on, and that should fix the problem. Do you like it? Yeah. The long one hard. or the short one? And there's a lab manual and an experiment guide. And it gives you a lot of stuff. What are you doing, Carter? I'm helping Dad. If he needs a tool, I hand it right down. That's it. two wires I'm going to replace. It's at this end, you can see how covered in this gunk that is. So I'm going to replace that and then the sensor that's on the side of the engine on that one is pretty gunked up. It's up against the hull of the boat and so it doesn't get a lot of attention. This one, you know, it's right here, it's easy to get to. So just the outsides of engines tend to get neglected as far as you just don't, you don't see it, you don't think about it, you don't wipe stuff down. So uh, paper towels please, a couple of them. So we'll go clean that uh, connection off and then we'll put a new wire on. Alright, let's fire up this port engine, see if we got a uh, tachometer. It's working! Keep watching it.
Problem fixed. One Check thing. off the list. Next. Next. Okay. Today for my experiment, okay. I have to do this. I sure. Uh, it says to use an egg carton, but we don't have any, so I'm using my Legos. So I put five marbles right here, and then I let one go down the ramp, and one comes out. So what are you learning about? Energy. Um, I'm pretty sure um, today I'm learning about like how energy transfers, or like how these bump together and transfer their energy. is showing the boat again. I'm taking the kids to the park right in our marina so that that way, you know, we're not in their hair, we're out of the way, we leave it nice and clean. Um, we've yeah. readjusted all of our arrangements and we're just having a great day. We're enjoying the keys, yeah. trying to Mom, still enjoy the journey no matter what. Oh! Is he this is a two-person towable tube and I think we're gonna go riding. You sound excited. Mm, not really. Why not? I'm tired from carrying this. Is it light <laughs> or help. is it light very or heavy? heavy? It's very heavy. Okay, give me a second. Because Dad is. Help. What are you doing? I need a handle. Hold that right there. Push it forward that way. Don't let it move. I'm trying not to let it move. sent to us from Valwix. It's a new type of tube. We've never had one with this weird fun back before, so it should be fun. But yeah, let's open it and see. Okay, careful now. Yep. Seems to be in a nice bag. Pull it. Ah, there you go. My yeah. Ooh, I can... Uh, we're gonna need to inflate Oh, guys. it's big. I think okay. I'll... Inside here? Yeah. Oh, it's huge. It's, it's really big. Hey, it's big too. I think the center of gravity packed. Did it hit something? Nope. No, it's just flat. It's wow. Where's your goggles? Welcome to this week's video of talking from our app. It's gonna look a little bit different this week. And the reason is, is because 
Um, Chris has been working like nonstop, no days off. If he does have a day off, he fixes something on the boat or he spends time playing with the family. So we didn't want to take up the time doing a talking from our app. So this week I'm going to have it look a little bit different. I'm going to have the three boys come up here and talk about what they're most looking forward to in the month of September. To give you a quick little recap, back in May, we were in the Bahamas and we did decide as a family to sell our boat. We took all summer to just enjoy time on the boat and then to get everything ready and prepared, we listed it for sale. We got an offer, the buyers ended up backing out. Survey looks great, a couple things Chris is gonna start knocking off on the next couple weeks. We had to change all of our plans. We were gonna go hang out in Naples with family for a few months, but because there's no marinas available and our kids are done living on anchor, we found a marina on the east coast of Florida, so we're gonna move up to the east coast in the next couple weeks. They're very excited about that. We have friends over there. Um, we are gonna take a lot of time to go over to Naples and help my mom and dad move into their new build. If you recall, last summer we road tripped up to Oregon and they retired and we moved them from Oregon down here to Florida. They were living in an apartment while their house is being built. It's finished, so now we're helping them move in. So many transitions. So many logistics happening. Meanwhile, Chris is still working at Sundance Water Sports. I work on the weekends at Sundance Water Sports as well. Greatest excursion company in all the Florida Keys. If you want to snorkel, snuba dive, or parasail, highly recommend it. Chris is also starting his consulting um, and boat work business. We're not really sure what to call it or exactly what his job description is going to be. If you have ideas, let us know. He's going to do boat brokering, consulting. If you want to live aboard your boat, he'll come help you. He'll help you with maintenance. Um, captaining if you need it moved, all those kind of things. So that is kind of stuff that we're going to start sharing as well. Till then, enjoy what the boys have to say. I don't even know what they're going to say yet, so this will be fun to watch. Let's go. <clears throat> for September, everything that we will be telling you, everything that we want to do for September. So yeah, wait, quarter. Welcome downtown. to Talking From Our app. I want to go to a bounce house. All we know for September is that we are moving up into a marina near Coco. But then that... The things I want to do is get off this boat and move to a house and yeah. bounce house. Uh, I want to go to a trampoline park and I fly. I want to get a job when I'm old enough. Have, I want to get a job. Have a um, four bedroom house. Have my own space. Make my room messy without Carter interrupting it. Caleb, what are you doing? <laughs> Diane. Diane. Yeah, uh, anything else, Caleb? Uh, no. I want to get a job when I'm old enough. I want to get a job when I'm old enough in December. I think we know. Yeah. Enjoy the journey, bitch. Enjoy the journey. Like and subscribe and stuff like that. Stop.